VC funding, uh, government policy, the ecosystem, etc. I think let's step once, go back and see what is a good ecosystem for startups. A good ecosystem is one which has really good technical universities where a lot of innovation and R and D happens. A lot of young entrepreneur and thinkers or actors who want to do setup and uh, and convert some of these research into into businesses and uh, risk taking seed capital providers, VCs, and angels who can smell a good business idea and mentor and put funds also in them so then that becomes a good ecosystem of course there's one more leg to the ecosystem without which it will fall that is the government policy now your question is that is the ecosystem in good in india well yes and no but by and large no why because there are very few good and that this explained is bangalore there's mumbai there's gurgaon etc where there is there's combination of this exists so Bangalore is considered to be a sit, the eighth best city in the world in terms of ecosystem for startups. But where is India? A lot of people think that, oh, India is great because you've got so many unicorns coming every year. India is not great on that scale. Sim if you go by facts, we are number 19, way down at number 19. And the simple reason is that we have a very fractured or patchy ecosystem across the country. We don't have a single policy uh, which is aiding ecosystem. There'll be something going even within the centrist policy. There'll be some major pitfalls. Then the, each state has its own system. They all understand conventional industry. They don't understand the startup system. So they try to apply the same rules and then screw up. So the Indian ecosystem for startups is poor. Across the world, let's say the top five they at countries in terms of uh, ecosystem, they attract uh, startups from other parts of the world also, not just their country. In India, there's sadly, the, in a current ecosystem, there's no way someone from abroad will come here and put it up. Although, India is an ideal place for bootstrapping. You have the internet, you have a lovely place to stay, cost of living is not high, a lot of university students can be hired. All kinds of things, but we have shot ourselves in the foot and we continue to do so. So, in spite of the ecosystem not being good, we have a large number of startups being set up. There's a large number of uh, companies in the startup system which is innovating. Our corporate sector has fallen behind in the, on the innovation curve. Whereas in, in the US, for instance, the corporate sector is eagerly evaluating which startups they should go and fund which startups they can acquire so that they can jump to another level in innovation. Because, you know, starting a company that's greenfield is so different from brownfield. They have the skills to take something from a, a $10 million revenue to a billion dollar revenue. <laughs> I'm not talking valuation, talk about revenue. So the large corporates in sectors like IT, in, in sectors like um, pharma, chemicals, they are on the lookout for startups, innovative startups. Here, barring four or five companies, the rest of the uh, 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 corporate sector is just asleep. So, our ecosystem is patchy. Innovation is happening. Innovation is not happening to the extent required. The government is doing things, but not adequately. Like, for instance, if I say, what is the government doing? For biotechnology, they have BIRAC. Excellent. And the way they manage the ecosystem of not just the government people in Delhi, but the professors and researchers from across the country, how they participate is a lesson for other sectors. Unfortunately, one part of the government doesn't talk to the other part of the government. There's a lot to learn from the government's efficient and effective work in BIRAC. So, can we move from number 19 in the world in terms of ecosystem to number 10? I think we can. If only there is a, a, a concerted effort. There are universities, there are young people who want to innovate. The young people who have given up their uh, mentality that we will follow the safe and uh, safe uh, path. All that's happening. And there's a lot of confidence among the youth. 
which didn't exist in my generation. So, a lot of things are in favor, some things are not. So, I think what will happen is Bangalore will move up the, the list, uh, Mumbai will move up, Pune will move up, Gurgaon will move up, Chennai will go up, and more places will come up, 15 more places will come up. And therefore, India will look on the whole better than at number 19. But it's going to be individual cities which are going to contribute to the national picture. 